In these problems, we're being asked to use the substitution method to solve a system of two equations. So we have two equations, two variables, and we want to solve for both x and y. You may be familiar with doing this when one of the equations is already solved for one of the variables, but these aren't. So what do we do? Well, it's pretty easy. We just pick one and solve for one of the variables. Uh, the one that jumps out at me is this, this second equation here, because I can see that just with one step, I can solve for y. If I add x to both sides, I would get y equals x minus 5. Now I've got one of the equations solved for y. I can take this value for y and substitute it in up here. So let's go ahead and do that. We would have x plus 2 times y, and our y now is x minus 5, equals a negative 7. Let's go ahead and distribute the 2. So that would give us x plus 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 5 is minus 10, equals a negative 7. And let's see, x plus 2x is 3x, minus 10 equals negative 7. And we can add 10 to both sides to get the x term alone. We'd get 3x equals 3, aha. Uh -huh. Divided by 3, we get x equals 1. Not done, though. We've just found x. We need to find y. But pretty easy here. We can take this 1 and stick it in to either of these equations. I'm going to stick it in the bottom one. So that would be negative, our x value is 1, plus y equals a negative 5. We add 1 to both sides. And we get y equals negative 4. And if you want to express this as an ordered pair, it would be x is 1 and y is negative 4. Let's try one more. This one's got an extra step in it. Um, I think I'm going to solve this second equation again for, for y. So first, I'd have to subtract 6x from both sides. And I would get 2y equals negative 6x. I'm just going to put that x term first, plus 18. And then y is not solved yet. We have to divide by 2. Remember, when you do that, you have to divide everything on that other side by 2. Here, the, the 2's cancel. We just get y. Negative 6x divided by 2, that's going to be a negative 3x. And 18 divided by 2 is going to be a 9. So here is our value for y. Let's go ahead and substitute that in the other equation up here. So I'm going to rewrite that equation. We're going to get 8x plus 4 times y. So that's times negative 3x plus 9. And that equals 12. All right. So uh, let's distribute the 4 first. So I'm going to have 8x minus 12x and plus 36 equals 12. 8x minus 12x is a negative 4x, when we combine those like terms, plus 36 equals 12. And then we have to subtract this 36 from both sides. So I think that's going to leave over here a uh, negative 24. And over here, just a negative 4x. And we can divide by negative 4 both sides. And we would get x equals, and this will be a positive, 6. So there's the first part of our answer, our answer. Let's go ahead and take this 6 and plug it back in. Oh, let's put it in up here. So 6 times 6 would be 36, plus 2y equals 18. If we subtract 36 from both sides, over here we would get negative 18. Here, 2y, divide by 2. And we're going to get y equals negative 9. So for our answer, x equals 6 and y equals negative 9. So that's a little bit of work in solving systems of equations using the substitution method.